Are you mateys? Welcome back to Klepto Stash, where we review the best of the best applications, extensions, add-ons, and services. And back with another application, one I've been using for three months now, and it is just marvelous. It is a backup program that uh, uses deduplication and compression and encryption, so you don't waste any space, and everything is encrypted and secure. So, welcome to Attic. Attic is a deduplicating backup program written in Python. The main goal of Attic is to provide an efficient and secure way to backup data. The data deduplication technique makes uh, Attic suitable for daily backups since only the changes are stored. And it is very easy to use. All you have to do is initiate the backup. Now, you could uh, create backups whenever you want by using the command below here um, attic create wherever my repository is let's call it Monday and let's back up these documents do I do that? no I do not what they have really what's great here let's see a second tab is scripts that he's already written where if I just set up attic on a uh, digital ocean um, droplet and uh, I use SSH it can back up all my directories over SSH and uh, it's got a little script here that, that uh, shows you the basic outline um, the repository name where the repository is um, what you want to back up what you want to exclude and and you know how to prune it and keep everything nice and short and sweet and, and well backed up but also as far as encryption goes it has a little attic init slash encryption you can use a passphrase or you can use a key file up for a key file um, just easy to keep up with and um, it says here uh, when repository encryption is enabled all data is encrypted in 256 bit AES encryption and the integrity and authenticity and, and authenticity excuse me is verified using HMAX SHA-256 all data is encrypted before being written to the repository that means an attacker that manages to compromise the host containing the encrypted archive will not be able to access the data attic supports two different methods uh, to derive the AES and HMAC keys so it is very nice what is even nicer is that you can mount your encrypted backups over SSH or SSHFS um, but there is a little proviso here. Um, be aware that SSHFS uh, does not fully imp uh, imp implement POSIT, POSIX locks. So you must be sure not to have two processes trying to access the same repository at the same time. I use uh, SSH and it works just fine. Here, let me give you an example. Let's see here. Attic mount. And I call this particular uh, server here Machiavelli Home Klepto Downloads Mount. Now, I've already added uh, a little alias to tell uh, to tell you that really the name Machiavelli just means that it's a uh, it's a server and I don't want to give out the IP address and the account name and all that so I just made a quick alias there to make things easy and uh, and uh, you know protect my privacy so BAM you run the command it's done you go to mount there are my files I've been pruning so that's all I have left but check this out cron log Check this out. Here's an example of why this is so great. You see this right here? Okay, it shows you the archive name, Machiavelli Net, shows you the date, it shows you the time, the archive fingerprint, and you can do the archive uh, checking and whatnot. The start time, the end time, the duration, only took eight minutes, number of files, wow, 11,000. This archive, the original size, is 3 gig. Yes, I am backing up my entire home folder. Um, although I'm uh, taking away certain things that I don't want backed up. 
the compressed size the original size is 3.56 gig the compressed size is 2.41 gig the deduplicated size is only 287 meg all archives one friggin terabyte the compressed size 800 terabytes the deduplicated um, not 800 terabytes, 800 gigabytes. The duplicated size is only 19 gig. So instead of backing up one whole terabyte of data, which I can't do on my DigitalOcean droplet, I only have like 30 gig. Uh, or the compressed size, which is still large. Here, we're not losing any data. It's only backing up what has changed. And being able to mount uh, your repository and just copy off files is so nice. Now, getting back to business here. They, they give you the, the whole outline on how to install it, some of the features, um, installing from Git, yes it is on GitHub, step-by-step uh, -step example, automating backups, I showed you that, um, remote repositories, uh, a mailing list which I haven't really gotten into yet, but uh, very nice and very secure and I've been using it for three months now and it is rock solid and I just slap it into uh, my cron job here just and uh, let it go and every now and then I gotta look at my cron logs to see what's being backed up and I, uh, I have two backup applications that I use that are rock solid number one tar snap just excellent I may eventually do an app pick on that one as well but also this one attic and the developer is very nice and helped me out when uh, I had some questions and whatnot. Uh, so go check it out. Do some backups. Keep things uh, secure. Keep it uh, also easy to do. And uh, you can install this on Debian, Ubuntu. It's in the Arch user repositories, Slackware, etc. So go check it out. It's at attic-backup.org. And... Uh, I've been a little remiss with uh, bringing you the best of the best applications and whatnot, but, uh, oh man, you know, you gotta have a life sometimes. But I'll do the best I can, bring you the best, and uh, be sure to comment. I've got some very interesting comments. Someone asked me what I was on and could he get some. Mm, I don't do any drugs at the moment. I'm just high on life in general. I'm just totally excitable and excited about Linux and Linux apps and open source software in general. It's been a pleasure. We'll do it again very soon.